I was attending a talk back at a theater uh, performance a few years ago, and uh, one of the questions that was asked of the actor, what, what should you study to be a successful actor? And he said, everything, the world. Hi, I'm Dr. Henry Bleetler. I am an Associate Professor of History and the Humanities at the King's College, and I'm also the co-creator and current chair of the program in Media, Culture, and the Arts. One of those concentrations is theater, and within that concentration, we offer musical theater classes that, that I have helped put together um, over the last five years with Virginia Pike, who is our musical theater instructor. I've been here 15 years. I hope to be here 15 more and I look forward to what we have in 15 years from now. I think it's going to be quite exciting. Hello, I'm Virginia Pike. I am a lecturer in musical theater here at the King's College, and I'm also a freelance musical director and composer in the musical theater industry. Well, right now at the King's College, we offer some classes in musical theater, uh, musical theater studio, uh, survey history class. We also offer voice lessons. We have the occasional workshops, and we certainly have our share of Broadway professionals that come in. Every year we offer a spring musical where we actually have professionals on the creative side of things so that our students get top-notch experience working with New York professionals. King's has the most obvious, amazing advantage by virtue of its location. We are in the heart of musical theater of the United States. We're in New York City. Having Broadway just a few subway stops away, we're able to interact with the industry. We often bring Broadway professionals who are at the top of their field here to the school to work with our students, to talk with our students. We've had the likes of Charles Strauss and Adam Gettle and Lily Cooper, who is the star of SpongeBob SquarePants, and we just had Michael Campano, who's starring in The Share Show, have all come here and worked with our students. The King's College students are going to take a, a politics, philosophy, and economics common core. It's something that every student takes with every degree, and you might ask, why would a theater person want to study P, P, and E, and why would they want to spend all that time studying history and religion and, and all these basic ideas and uh, worldviews that really aren't part of what they hope to be their future? Well, it's because you're, we're educating you for a lifetime. Uh, we're educating you to be a citizen, to know how the world works around you. I think that a lot of the experience and the things that I learned are very unique to King's because um, I was able to study business and study PPE and these things I was really interested in and still be very heavily involved in musical theater. We are a Christian school and that all of our professors just, uh, they're um, intentional about investing in our faith as well as our studies and our future and our future career. And um, Ginny Pike, Professor Ginny Pike, has just played a tremendous role in that regard in my life. Um, the way that she leads the shows that she works on is um, just totally by the power of the Holy Spirit. Um, I've gotten to watch her um, pray before rehearsals, just like share the vision that she feels is really infused in her by God. And that's just so significant and so special. I just believe it's so important to rally around a vision with any creative project. And when, um, when you can be unified in Christ in that, it's just, it's absolutely unlike anything else. What my students are experiencing at King's is that when we bring Broadway professionals here, we are unapologetic about our faith. But we also show them that we are so welcoming, that we welcome people from all different faith backgrounds to come and work with our students, but they know and understand that this is a Christian environment. I always start my classes, even when I have guest speakers, with a prayer, and I ask them in advance if they're okay with that, and every single one of them have said, sure, no problem, and they've all left here feeling blessed to have worked with our students. They have amazing things to say about our students and some of them comment even that the environment feels so welcoming. There's something different about it. And that's really exciting to me. It's about glorifying God with your talents and with your passions. And it's about not linking your self-worth to your own personal performance. Because in the eyes of God, you're, you are loved by Him unconditionally. And at King's, that is the first thing you learn when you're in, when you're in a class with Professor Pike or in any class here at King's, is that it's not about you, it's about, it's about God. Well, there are a lot of schools here in New York City where you could study musical theater, uh, theater in general, conservatories, liberal arts colleges, but there really aren't 
any Christian colleges that, that focus on these kind of uh, artistic performances. And in doing that, in the very short time that we've been doing this, we've been building up a small community of graduates, uh, students who are uh, at school at King's that get to know each other and can meet and gather and encourage one another. And uh, again, just in the few short years, five years or so, that we've been doing musical theater here at the King's College, we've already got this cohort of students and graduates who are helping each other, encouraging each other, and uh, carving a way forward uh, that makes New York City theater a little bit easier to navigate.